Hello and welcome back to a Battlefield 2042 beta review and welcome back to another video. I'm sorry it's been a while but I have been pretty busy and I haven't really got around to doing stuff that I really usually would do on a week like this. It's still falling out, still sorting it out and it will get back in schedule soon enough but enough of that we're back with Battlefield and what a game this is, what a beta, what a beta, what a game this has been like Overall, I have really, really enjoyed it and I've really enjoyed people playing the game and watching them play the game. Like, it is a really nice feeling to have like a great response to something like Battlefield where you've been playing since Battlefield 3. It is a massive, massive, I think, win and a massive positive to this game. I cannot say enough of how like good this game is in a way that it literally blows my mind. Like, coming from Call of Duty and all that stuff, and playing Call of Duty like back in the days, now playing Battlefield and all that stuff. To me, if I had to, play, to pick one or the other, I'll pick Battlefield all the way just because of how much better it is overall and just within game wise. So this is just me talking about the game and how I experienced it through my time playing the beta. And I have got some amazing clips in this video. So if you guys enjoyed, please like, do subscribe and enjoy this amazing video. Thank you very much. So starting off, this was the map and I really like the map. I'm not going to lie, really did like it. There was a lot of good areas and a lot of like intense moments, but also calm moments at the same time. Specifically, I went in an area like C2. That area was very short, very slow, but very, very, very like it, there was just stuff happening all, about, all the time and it was a really, really good area. I rate this map very, very highly and some of the stuff that can happen in it is mental. And now the next bit I'm going to talk about is also this, the weapon customizations. So realistic in the modern warfare. People don't realise it. I'm actually surprised how people don't realise how, how much this happens actually. As in Airsoft or anything like that, you, if you ever play Airsoft and whatnot, and you've got something like an SMG or an assault rifle, Mid game, if you've got all the equipment in your bag or whatnot, you can literally switch up like I am doing here and just run into this building and take control of it. You could literally switch from a, a long range scope like I did to a short range, like to an iron sight, and you're in, you're ready to go inside a building. Like without this iron sight or with that scope, I don't think I would have been able to do half of the stuff that I'm doing right now. And being able to customize it so that you are on point when it comes to being accurate like that there um i really do rate it this happens like so often so realistic big plus with the game mechanics and also a big plus with the editing on how you want to change your like equipment or change your assault rifle or change your smg to the full effect and rate this guy great revive get in their medics um and also as well I've got to say, some of the weapons, like the SMG that I'm using right now, really, really liked it. It was just one of those SMGs that was really fun to use. It was very fast paced and good hitter. Like there was that and the Vector, and the Vector was a lot, of, a lot of fun. But with this weapon, I was able to do stuff like this. It was very hard hitting, really, really, really good. And the magazine size was really, really nice as well. One thing I would probably add to this we weapon was maybe like 10 more bullets or maybe 20 more bullets. If I had the opportunity to do that, I would probably use this weapon a lot more and wouldn't reload my weapon as much as I did on this game. I just, every time I kill somebody, I would reload it. It reminds me of like the PDW from Call of Duty. That weapon, every time you used like 10 bullets, you would just reload it straight away. And it was just very unnecessary. But with maybe an uh, extended magazine, this would have been spot on. So with that, gun mechanics right and some of the cinematics like this here this plane just coming down to pick you up was brilliant i love the cinematics on this game you've seen a bit of the tornado and that but some of the stuff you get to see while playing this game is so cool and i love it to bits it is so fun and this was it the tornado that i was talking about it is so fun to play this game and just experience what could literally happen while you're like floating about or something like that. You're seeing the bit actually, I think I get drifted away and I think a transport just crosses my screen. I think it was this bit here. Just wait and see.
This is it. So that transport just zooms past me. That, like, when that happened, when I was playing and that happened, I was like, holy, oh my god, I'm, I'm literally trying to just chill out right now, take a breather and get to this objective, and I've got a transport just going past me, like, close as. It's a, I really enjoyed it, and I've got to say, the tornado and all that stuff, I really enjoyed that as well. It was fantastic. And the tornado was a big part, of this big factor in this game. Like, there was some stuff the tornado did that really changed the tides to this game a lot. Like, um, when there was one bit I was playing where the tornado came in and it went over um, the rocket and the rocket, as it was about to lift off, it all got destroyed. And I was running to this objective. I was running to the objective that the rocket is on and it just combusted around me. And I was like, it was just falling around me. It was very cinematic. It's too bad I didn't record it because I was an idiot not recording it. Um, it is a lot like something like here. This is very similar to this shot that I've got here of this recording, which is me literally shooting and killing people. This was another objective that was quite good for the weapon I was currently using. But with that rocket, like the debris and stuff around you that was happening, like it was insane. And I was able to use that debris as cover and take on like 20 people. It was that fun. It was that close and that fun to really just get in people's faces and really take it head on. And I couldn't, I just can't say less. It was just a load of fun. And that was a great shot of the tornado, by the way. Um, really do rate how some of the stuff just happens, like just happens in this game. Um, and a big, big, big win. So some of the comments that I've heard about the game, about the game not being fun or the game not being good at all. Remember this is only the beta. This is the one thing that I've seen a lot on YouTube or a lot on Insta or a lot on TikTok that people are already cussing this game. They're already saying it's crap. They're already saying it's this. They're saying that it's got all these glitches and all these problems and it's not really good enough. It's not really there for the people to really take on. And people are forgetting that this is a beta. This is quite literally the beta for the game to come out and I 100% guarantee you now when that game comes out this will be brilliant and some of the stuff that will toned down some of the stuff that will be finessed to the point of like a sliding mechanic could be like too OP or they, there's maybe there's something in the game that really is like just over the top like I love the one thing I love seeing throughout this beta was the ragdolls as the ragdolls just went insane. If you killed somebody and like an explosion happened right next to them, that ragdoll will go to the other side of the map and it will spaz out like mental. And that was really fun to me. I really enjoyed it. And I know a lot of people would probably go into this game and look at that and be like, that's so not right at all. That's not fun. That's just a glitch. I didn't enjoy that glitch or whatnot. Um, and personally for me, it's just, well, you got to accept what it is right now to enjoy the experience of it because you've got to remember it's only the beta and when the game comes out you might not see these glitches um and there was a glitch where i was like voiding through the floor and that and i was like oh my god i'm i'm voiding from the floor and i can't believe that's happening and it was too bad i didn't record it because i'm a stupid idiot but still um some of the glitches that you will see obviously will probably never happen and um you they'll probably never happen within the actual game when it comes out so uh big onus to this beta uh, it was a big fun to play it was a lot of fun to play when it came out and i just couldn't say that more or less it's just it was just fun and for me personally as a battlefield fan um it was a great great game to just or great great beta to just play and experience battlefield at its peak again like i enjoyed battlefield 3 i enjoyed battlefield 4 and i did enjoy somewhat in a way of the old of like world war one and world war two of battlefield but personally for me i am a modern warfare type of guy i love the modern warfare stuff so for me to play battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 it was a lot of fun and i just spent time on that and now coming back to it it is great like for me as well i did spend a lot of time on call of duty modern warfare and comparing both games yes there are differences and there are huge differences but when it comes to full scale all that warfare battlefield does it the best and for me it is so much more better like for call of duty the one thing about call of duty that does well with modern warfare 
is it, how close and quick it can be. It can be a very fast paced game. And I do sometimes enjoy that very fast paced 1v1 shooter. It is ec ecstatic. It can be very ecstatic. It can be a lot of fun. But in the end of the day, when it comes to all out warfare and what it really, really does, Battlefield just takes the bombshell of it. And it just shows even in this gameplay, it can go so quickly, but at the same time, it can go very slowly. And that's what a battlefield is. Sometimes you get a wave of enemies coming at you, and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get an, a, a moment on, in this warfare where you're taking on five, five guys by yourself. You might not survive, but you're taking on five guys and you might survive. That's the thing about this as well. It was very fantastic to play. I was taking on 50 people all at once at one point, and I was just by myself while everyone else is capturing the frags or what the flags and whatnot and it was just so fun and the cinematics on this game is brilliant and if i had to put this beta out of 10 i would put it out of 10 it was a lot of fun and it was too bad i couldn't really play it with some of my friends as they all work currently like on the ps falls and whatnot but for me by myself playing this game it was still a lot of fun i still really enjoyed it and I just can't wait until the actual game comes out because it will be a lot of fun and I can't say less. It was just a lot of fun and being able to just be in a modern warfare, I highly rate. So, But for this, this was my video. This is my talk. This is my rant on the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed some of the gameplay, obviously in the background, but obviously my voice. Um, being able to record and stow stuff like this again is a big win. So we're back. We're here. Probably not until probably like next week or something because I'm going to be currently bit pretty busy. But still, it's good to play this. Good to do this. And uh, we're getting back on the bandwagon. It's just getting time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And see you next time.